Is that good? So I'm gonna tell you guys today about how to conserve your energy and attention. Because nowadays, with information being so accessible, everybody can hit you up any time of the day. It was not like that before. In the past, you didn't have instant text messages where anybody can reach you at any point in time, always. This is something we need to adjust to. You can't just not adapt to that and just take all this information in. You need to selectively choose which information you are consuming and what you are letting take all of your energy and time away. So when there are people trying to contact you, when there are people trying to get you to spend their money and time with them, you need to be very selective with it because you will be presented with this in your life when you're just scrolling around on the internet, where you, when you're doing whatever. Make sure that you are allocating your energy correctly. Don't let people steal it all from you and don't let one small arbitrary thing take hold of all of your energy because that can happen very easily where one single person can just take a complete hold of your mind and energy at all points in time and you can't let that happen there's way too much out there for you to let that happen you won't be discovering everything that you can be discovering and getting to your true potential if you're getting caught up with one small thing and just falling in a pitfall for a long time in it. So don't let one single person especially bring you down. If there is, you know, let's say you're in a bad relationship or something like that, you can't make that your main focus. When a relationship is very negative, a job is very negative, we tend to focus on that the most. And when you focus on it, you give it the most energy and it will just grow and grow. Like this is the issue. We always try to focus on improving the negative things, but all we're doing is focusing on the negative and stressing ourselves out. It's not what, we're, what you're supposed to be doing. What you should be doing is optimizing the things that you love and that are actually positive and uplifting you, not trying to fix the things that are extremely negative, unless you know that you can, but a lot of times it's like you try over and over and you, for a very long period of time to try to fix a negative toxic relationship when it should have just been left a long time ago. Like you can get on trains. This is where meditation comes in, right? This is a metaphor for meditation, okay? So when you meditate, you sit there and you bring your thought back to baseline, right? It goes off and you, it goes in a thought train, then you bring it back over and over. But if you don't meditate, this can happen in your real life where things get out of hand and then you never bring it back. So you can get in, into a relationship with somebody say, and you'll just let it go and go and go for years and you never bring it back. You just let, you just let it go, let it go. You gotta bring things back to homeostasis. Don't let things get too out of hand before it feels like it's too late because it's never to just stop something abruptly. That's the thing that the ego does to you is that if you have been doing something wrong for years and then you finally figure out that you've been doing it wrong, it is so fucking hard to be like, oh, shit. And you just keep doing it. And that's where it's not usually with drug addiction. It's normally with just monotonous useless tasks that you do and you know, it can add up with a lot of those but yeah your ego will will pretty much make it so you'll continue doing the wrong things just because it's a lot sweeter just to not admit that you've been wasting all of your energy and time and the wrong activity I, I do this all the time too all the time you get too caught up in a single activity and you can't let it go even when you see other opportunities arise and then the future comes and you're like, oh, well, shit. <laughs> the future's here eh? and I definitely should have taken that opportunity when I could have, guys. Like, please, 
holy shit, it never, at the moment in time, it's very rare when you see an opportunity and you're like, this is it. Like, I know for a fact I need to take this opportunity right now. This is the fucking thing. I can't pass this up. I'm taking it and I'm going all in no matter how uncomfortable it is. That's not how it's going to be. It's always going to be retrospective. You'll look back and be like, oh shit, I should have fucking taken that opportunity, okay? That's always what it's going to be. You're never going to see it in the moment. So you need to take advantage of these, of the opportunities that come to you that may have some potential to them because like I just said, you'll look back and be like, oh shit, that was it. That was the opportunity, guys. It's not going to be a fucking angel coming down and telling you that it is the opportunity. It's going to be very subtle, right? You're not going to really know. It's going to be uncertain. But if you, if you fucking listen to your intuition, you'll know that it's the right opportunity. You'll know what to do. But very, 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 very subtle stuff. Okay, you need to take advantage of those when they come to you because you're not going to get an infinite amount of opportunities, especially when you're younger. You need to be taking up most of them and taking a lot more risks when you're, long, when you're younger too, which is, I don't understand why people in their 20s are getting so caught up in safety already. Like, why do you want to be all safe when you have so much room to fail? Like, no one gives a shit if you're failing when you're like 20 or 21, 22, 23, 24. People give a shit if you're failing at 35, 40. Yeah, that's embarrassing. But you could be doing damn near anything in your early 20s. So why not fucking try to go shoot for the moon or do something insane? No one's trying for it, really. Not no one, but very few people are actually putting themselves out there because they're afraid of the failure. But really, it's the only way you're going to be able to get insane results of it is if you are willing to fail unfortunately but yeah guys the point of the video mostly is just that i'm trying to hammer down is just be extremely aware of where of where your energy is going it doesn't even necessarily mean your time okay because your energy can be extremely sucked away just from like an hour 30 minutes your whole day or week can be sucked away from 30 minutes just being around a negative person if it cycles throughout your mind and creates negative emotion it can fuck you over for a very long time so just make sure to avoid those situations and if you do find yourself in them make sure to recover from it meditate from it okay because that's the best not from it but meditate on it because that's the best way to heal extremely quickly is just when you are having really obsessive thoughts, especially negative ones, what that means is that you really have to deal with that immediately. And if you meditate on it, then you'll be able to deal with it a lot quicker than just distracting yourself. Because a lot of times we'll just eat ice cream and watch TV and that feels like it's working, but then actually you're just avoiding it and then you're like you have to go to sleep but then you can't sleep you start to get insomnia that's why so many people can't sleep because those thoughts are coming back and rattling throughout your mind so just make sure to meditate if you get in a negative situation that drains you okay peace